this increasingly modern era, computers and laptops are increasingly being used to do something or just to play games. Computers and laptops are used to do school or college assignments, do work from the office, and much more. Everything related to the world of technology can hardly be separated from the use of computers and laptops. One of the software used on computers and laptops is Microsoft. Some computers and laptops use Microsoft software. One of the makers of Microsoft software is Bill Gates. When you hear the name Bill Gates, almost everyone already knows that he is someone who is successful with the software he made, namely Microsoft. However, not everyone knows about Bill Gates' biography. Want to know the biography of Bill Gates and his success in building Microsoft? Check out the review of Bill Gates' biography as follows. Bill Gates, whose full name is William Henry Gates III, was born in Seattle, Washington on October 28, 1955. He has parents named William Henry Gates and Mari Maxwell and Bill Gates can be said to be born into an affluent family. Bill Gates' father is a lawyer who is quite famous because he already has many connections with well-known people and companies. Meanwhile, Bill Gates' mother is a member of the board of directors of First Interstate Bank, Pacific Northwest Bell, and a national member of the United Way. Bill Gates' grandfather, J.W. Maxwell, is a president of a national bank. In his family, Bill Gates has an older sister named Christiane and a younger sister named Libby. In Bill Gates' family tree, he is the fourth descendant, but is better known as William Henry Gates III or Trey, because his father has the name II. Bill Gates, who is the second child of three siblings, has a high enough intelligence that he experiences difficulties when he is at school because his enthusiasm for learning is higher than his friends. The genius that is in Bill Gates' brain makes him smart and good at academics. When Bill Gates' parents found out that their son had genius brain abilities, they put Bill Gates in a well-known boys' school in Seattle and the school was called Lakeside School. This school is located on the west coast of the United States. Bill Gates, who initially liked computer lessons when he entered this school, began to move his preferred subject to computer lessons and at that time he was only 11 years old. Bill Gates, who has fallen in love with the world of computers, makes his parents worry because they are afraid that Bill Gates will not be able to concentrate while studying. After his parents became concerned, they stopped Bill Gates' computer-related activities for a year. This is done so that Bill Gates concentrates on learning activities. Because Bill Gates' curiosity is very high which cannot be obtained by studying, he diverts his attention by reading books such as business, literature, science, and biographies of world-famous figures. What Bill Gates wants to look for when reading a biography is how to become a great person in the field he likes. Bill Gates' parents told their son to stop studying computers, not without reason. They did it all so Bill Gates could go to university, even though Bill Gates himself wanted to advance the computer world. Thanks to the intelligence and genius possessed by Bill Gates, in 1975, he was able to get a place at Harvard University in the city of Cambridge, Massachusetts. However, the love of the computer world made Bill Gates venture not to continue his studies at Harvard University. After dropping out of Harvard University, he chose to advance the world of computers together with his friend Paul Allen. Since childhood, Bill Gates loved reading books and at the age of 10, he had read the World Book Encyclopedia from the beginning to the end of the series. Because of his fondness and the hobby of reading, Bill Gates' parents bought various kinds of books that Bill Gates liked. Until he was 11 years old, Bill Gates began to frequently ask his father about business and world events. However, 
Bill Gates' fondness for reading various kinds of books made the mother worry because the mother felt that her child rarely interacted with other people who preferred to spend her time reading books. Because of that, Bill Gates and his mother sometimes fought because he felt that his mother wanted to control him. Bill Gates began to love the world of computers while attending Lakeside School. The computer world that Bill Gates liked, at that time, was still in the form of a teletype machine connected by telephone to a time-sharing computer, the thing that makes Bill Gates love the world of computers is the workings of the computer itself where the computer can read software code perfectly. When Bill Gates attended Lakeside School, he felt that his love of computers was well facilitated so that all his curiosity about the world of computers could be answered properly. Not only that, Bill Gates also never got the freedom to play with computers at school because he managed to find a software bug or an error that occurred in the program lines. His genius and love for computers made Bill Gates easily learn and write the basic programming language. Bill Gates and his friends often spend hours in the computer room just learning and writing programming languages and everything about the computer world. Thanks to his love for computers, when he was still in school, Bill Gates was able to earn extra pocket money. He got the extra pocket money with his friends by becoming a young hacker or hacker at Lakeside. Bill Gates and his friends can spend hours and sometimes even before they get home in the morning. They spend hours just to fix the existing programming on the computer. It can be said that Bill Gates' love for the world of computers is not easy to get the blessing of his parents, he was even not allowed to study computer science. All of that happened when Bill Gates started to love the world of computers while still studying at Lakeside School. This continued until he had to bury his dream of advancing the world of computers and had to go to university because his parents told him to, even though Bill Gates managed to get into Harvard University. He was confused about which major to enter and in the end chose law school with the hope of becoming a lawyer like his father. While studying at Harvard University, Bill Gates was not very interested in the law faculty he chose and felt that his love for computers would slowly disappear, however, all feelings of love for the computer world did not disappear in the end because Bill Gates met his best friend again when he attended Lakeside School and his friend's name was Paul Allen. The programming language used on the computer turned out to be successful, so Bill Gates and Paul Allen convinced themselves to come to MITS, which was a small company in Albuquerque so that they, MITS, bought their basic programming language. After succeeding in creating a programming language with Paul Allen, dividing his time between studying at university, developing software, Bill Gates made up his mind to stop or not continue his studies at Harvard University. The choice was taken so that Bill Gates could focus on his ambitions or aspirations to have a software company with his friend, Paul Allen, and the company was named Microsoft. Initially, the name Microsoft was Microsoft, where the words micro and soft were hyphenated. The name came after Bill Gates and Paul Allen worked with MITS. In 1976 the name Microsoft was changed to Microsoft and in the same year the trade name was registered with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of New Mexico. The partnership with MITS ended in 1976 and Microsoft software continued to be developed. The software developed by Bill Gates and Paul Allen is not only aimed at computers, but also for various systems. After parting ways with MITS, Bill Gates moved Microsoft's corporate office to Bellevue, Washington from Albuquerque. Bill Gates when building the company in the early years was very thorough in supervising his employees so that employees felt they had a great responsibility for the progress of the company's business. Even though he already has employees, Bill Gates still sees or rechecks all the lines of code sent by the company. Not only that, Bill Gates will also write back if some parts of the code appear to be inappropriate. After parting with MITS, Microsoft tried to work with IBM to advance computer operating systems. This was because at that time IBM was lagging behind Apple in the computer market, so IBM opened up opportunities for other companies to fill in important parts of a computer, which are the operating system and microprocessor, or the main heart of a personal computer. The companies chosen to fill the void were Intel and Microsoft. Microsoft can win the competition with Intel and manage to get a cooperation contract. Bill Gates has the ability to negotiate well so that the contract 
Microsoft made an approach with a local company called Seattle Computer Products. The local company has an operating system called QDOS, Quick and Dirty Operating System. The QDOS operating system was purchased by Microsoft for $50,000. After obtaining the operating system, the next step was for Microsoft to modify and adapt the QDOS operating system to meet IBM's needs. To become a better computer operating system and to meet IBM's needs, Bill Gates and Allen had to work tirelessly for hours. The QDOS computer operating system underwent a name change to the MS-DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System, computer operating system after going through a modification and improvement stage. Bill Gates and Microsoft became more successful when IBM launched a computer with the MS-DOS operating system. Computers that use the MS-DOS operating system can be said to be very popular in the personal computer market, thus making IBM benefit from the sales of these computers. Every personal computer with the IBM brand must have used MS-DOS as its operating system. The increasing sales of IBM personal computers in the personal computer market made Microsoft's name increasingly recognized. That's because IBM uses an operating system created by Microsoft, namely MS-DOS. Thanks to the success of selling this computer, Microsoft's name is slowly becoming known to the world. In other words, IBM's big name in personal computer competition was a key factor in starting Microsoft's triumph in the field of personal computer operating systems. Microsoft's MS-DOS is increasingly recognized in the eyes of the world, especially in the field of computer operating systems. Although the name MS-DOS was getting famous, but IBM did not gain much. Because in a contract agreement with Microsoft, IBM has agreed to provide MS-DOS development research funds to Microsoft. Not only that, IBM has also agreed to allow Microsoft to sell a new version of the MS-DOS operating system to third parties. In the contractual agreement between IBM and Microsoft, it can be said that Microsoft has an advantage. On the one hand, Microsoft gets paid from selling IBM personal computers, and on the other hand, Microsoft gets financing from IBM to develop MS-DOS. The sale of IBM personal computers with MS-DOS was a successful sale and had a good impact on software company Microsoft because in this way Microsoft companies were increasingly being looked at by personal computer manufacturers. Personal computer manufacturers are competing to get or be able to adopt Microsoft's MS-DOS. With this, the success of Bill Gates and Paul Allen in advancing Microsoft is increasingly wide open. Because of his love for the world of computers and never giving up on achieving his goals, Bill Gates was ultimately successful with his Microsoft company, even though as a child his parents had forbidden him to study computer science, especially computer operating systems. Gates is someone who is successful in the field of business and technology, especially computer operating systems, can be used as inspiration by many people, especially for beginners who want to be successful in building their business. There are so many